Hey Killer Bees, it's Paula B from PaulaBeeFitness.com and on tap today I've got a great low impact cardio and weights workout for weight loss that is perfect for women of a certain age. You guys, there is absolutely no jumping today, but oh my goodness, we are getting a full body sweat and burn. You are going to need a pair of dumbbells and I went with moderate because moderate is best for weight loss, but you're always welcome to set your own challenge. If you need a new challenge, make sure you open up the description box below and get my exact three pair set from Amazon so that you always have the right weight for you. You guys, today is a thorough Thursday, which means that I've got both a warm-up and a cool down and so much sweat in between. When you're ready for this one, I'm totally ready. Let's go. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. And that means that we are starting with some arm circles and high knees. You guys, you guys, I'm excited about this one today. This, this is going to be a sweaty workout and it's going to be just right. You know what? Even more so than like aiming for a super hard sweat. My new favorite thing in the entire world is to aim for just the exact right amount of sweat. You know, at this age, at our age nowadays, you know, we could still do the hard work. We absolutely can. But oh my gosh, it just takes so much more to recover from it that I really like finding that exact, like that Goldilocks spot where I feel great. I feel sweaty. I feel like I've worked myself, but also I can move tomorrow. I can work out probably again tomorrow. I can do everything that I want to do without feeling like I did too much. And sometimes, sometimes it's hard to find that spot today. Today, I promise you, we're gonna, we're gonna tiptoe right up to that edge. <laughs> we really are. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers and booty kickers. I, we are all low impact. There's absolutely no jumping today, but I don't want you to confuse that with low intensity or easy or, or any of those other things that you might think of when you hear the word low. The only thing that is low is the impact. That means that this is very nice for your downstairs neighbors if you have them. It's pretty nice on your knees. We are doing some squats though, so it might might not be perfect for your knees if you are careful about squats and lunges, but it's going to be mighty tough on your heart and lungs. It's going to be really good for your muscles and bones. And, and if we remember to take this at a nice moderate pace, this will be great for weight loss. You know that thing about how we don't really recover as well as we used to? That's really hard on weight loss. When, when our best bet for losing weight is to be consistent, we really want to make sure that we could do this exact workout or something very similar to it again tomorrow and again the day after that and again the day after that. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes, ah, but maybe not this exact workout. Oh, because this one, like I said, it's going to take us right to the edge. Here's what it looks like. I've got my handy dandy gym boss here set for intervals of 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're going to do 30 seconds of cardio and then during that 10 seconds of rest, we're going to do like a little extra squat while we pick up our dumbbells. So we're going back and forth between cardio and weights, cardio and weights, cardio and weights. But we do have that little bit of transition time in between. It's, it's not really a lot of rest though. So I want you to take all of these exercises at whatever pace works best for you to make sure that you can make it all the way through the workout. If you need to pause, obviously pause. If you need to modify, obviously modify. But let's do our best to get right up to that Goldilocks work. My friends, we're going to get started with walking stars, which you might know as box steps, but I call them walking stars. Bye, Blossom. Oh, love you, sweetie. Bye-bye. Here we go with the walking stars. You might know them as box steps, but I have learned that when I call them walking stars, thinking about putting one hand up and then stepping forward to putting the other hand up and stepping forward, that that makes it easier for my brain to know what we're doing. And let me tell you something. Here's the other great thing about today's workout it is a challenge for our brain as well as our body going back and forth between this high heart rate cardio work and the not low heart rate, but just lower, slower moving strength work. So 10 seconds of rest while we grab our dumbbells. What we're going to do is high elbow openers, which means just what it sounds like. Our elbows are high, hands start in the middle here. We're going to open, oh my gosh, and close. So your elbows are staying in one position, but you're opening your hands and closing your hands right here at chest height. This is not cardio, this is strength. So we're moving at a different different pace. That's what's tough about this workout. We're really challenging ourselves to go back and forth between moving fast and then moving slow and then moving fast and then moving slow and knowing which one we're doing and what we're doing and how we're doing it. 10 seconds of rest. Ooh, 
while we put those dumbbells down and out of the way. Coming up next is toy soldiers. Going to have those hands up overhead. This is cardio again. So we're moving quickly. Hands up overhead. We're kicking our opposite foot towards our opposite hand. Now I got started at a pace that I feel like I can sustain for the whole workout. Hopefully you have found a pace that you know is going to work for you. We do have that 10 seconds of kind of rest in between. So you might be able to go a little bit faster on these cardio sections. If you can go a lot faster on the strength sections, I will actually encourage you to pick up heavier weights if you have them, 10 seconds of rest, while we pick up those weights, speaking of that. Using really light weights absolutely has its place in time. We're going to do squats next. So your weights are just here at your chest. Feet are about hip width apart. You're going to oh, push your hips back and then up we go. Making sure that your hips are driving this motion. We're not just trying to get down to the ground and we're certainly not trying to move fast. We're pushing our hips back, squatting down, getting as low as you can go and then standing back up. In 30 seconds, we're not going to do a ton of these. We're not trying to. <laughs> Thank goodness. This is strength. So this is slow moving. Oh, and here we are putting our dumbbells back down again. Coming up next, we're doing walking burpees. A lot of up and down today. Hands on the ground or an elevated surface. Going to walk those feet out. Whew, walk those feet back in and up so daisy we go. Hands down, walk it out walk it in and up. Now here's the thing. If you do not care for putting your hands down on the ground, I don't blame you. That's totally fine. Put your hands on an elevated surface like the side of your couch or a coffee table, even the wall. You know what? Cardio doesn't care how it gets done. Cardio is about raising your heart rate. Whoo doggies and getting a good sweat. Doesn't matter if you put your hands on the ground for that or not. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Actually just one dumbbell. I'm gonna do X marks the spot. Feet are about hip width apart. Core is pulled in tight. Start up at your shoulder here. We're gonna chop down to the opposite hip and then up to that other shoulder and chop down. We're making a big X chop in the air and I want you to think about really pulling your core in tight. This is slow moving in between while we're setting up but then a big ferocious chop where we're really challenging your abs and obliques. You can grunt if you want to. Always encouraged, always optional though. <laughs> chop and chop. Oh my gosh, great job. 10 seconds of rest. Oh, well, we put that dumbbell down and we get ready for can-cans. Can-can is a little bit of a knee and then a kick on one side and then we'll do the knee and the kick on the other. Now you can really get this one rocking. If you have found that this pace super manageable, I mean we're not very far into the workout, but you could really get your hands into this one if you'd like to raise your heart rate a little bit higher. You could even, if, if you like to, you could do this one with a little bit of a jump in it too. I prefer to keep it low impact, thank you very much. But you are always, always welcome to modify my workouts to make them harder or easier or you know what? Make them just right. Make them just right for you. 10 seconds of rest while we grab, oh my gosh, those dumbbells. Sorry, I know it's coming. We're doing letter X's. Speaking of X marks the spot, we're doing letter X's. We're going to form the top half of the letter X. Hands are out and wide, back into center, and then the bottom half. Oh my gosh, of those letter X's back into center. Well, this is all coming from the middle of your back. Your lower back will volunteer, so make sure that your core is pulled in tight. But this is bringing your shoulder blades together, squeezing those big, big muscles in your back. Awesome job. Back to center. Whoo, doggies. Put those dumbbells down, and here we go with leg twister jacks. Speaking of work for your brain. Hands are doing jumping jacks. Legs are twisting out and then in, and then in on the other side and out. In, then in on the other side, out. You are twisting back and forth across your body or, or something like that. Honestly, you know, every time I do these, I think I do them differently. I call them the same exercise, but I may or may not be performing them the same way. However you are moving your hands and moving your legs, my friend, it is exactly the exercise you should be doing. <laughs> 10 seconds of rest while we grab those dumbbells again and we are doing curtsy lunge curls. Elbows locked into your waist. As we come down into a curtsy lunge, you're going to curl up into a biceps curl. Center yourself in the middle, curtsy on the other side while curling. 
curtsy and curl. Excellent job, moving slowly with precision. Oh my gosh, thinking about where your body is, but not really bringing that heart rate down, are we? <laughs> awesome job. Whew, and put those dumbbells down, making sure that you are breathing, my friends. Coming up next, we are doing inchworms. Give yourself a little bit of a space. We're gonna walk our hands out until we're in a plank position. You are welcome to come down onto your knees for this or once again, be on an elevated surface. You can do inchworms on your couch, my friend. I never ever need you to do the exercises exactly the way I do them. Do them in a way that works for you, gets you sweaty, gets you the amount of work that's right for you. When it beeps again, oh, there it is, thank goodness. <laughs> Go ahead and grab those dumbbells. 10 seconds of rest here. Oh, and coming up next, we're gonna do high knee twists. The dumbbells are gonna be here Oh my gosh, at your shoulders. Bring up one high knee and twist into it. And then put that foot down. Bring up the other high knee and twist into that. You feel how difficult your balance is? Wow, we've got this high heart rate. And now here we are working on your abs and obliques. Oh my goodness, such a good job. Really thinking about pulling in that core and being real careful with this one. It is not cardio, Ooh. so we do not have to go fast. Go ahead and put those dumbbells down because now, now we are doing cardio again. We're doing windmill tap backs. Hands are wide, feet are wide, reaching your opposite hand towards your opposite foot. And while we're reaching down, we're tapping back with the other foot. Now, do you have to touch your foot? Oh my goodness sakes, no. <laughs> you are welcome to tap any anywhere you want to, your thigh, your knee, your shin. If you can get all the way down to the ground, get all the way down to the ground. That's awesome. My friend, my friend, this workout is your workout and I am so proud of you for doing it. When it beeps again, we're gonna get, I almost said 30 seconds of rest. No, 10 seconds of rest while we grab those dumbbells. We are doing balanced press ups. Oh good, more balance, yay. Starting at your shoulders here. Both hands are gonna go up in a press up while we bring one knee up and then come down and then both hands go up while the other knee comes up. So your feet are going back and forth between which leg is balancing, but both hands are going up each time. Ooh, trying really hard not to fall out of this. Core is pulled in tight. Thinking about excellent form and moving slowly. It's strength. Strength is slow. <laughs> There we go, 10 seconds of rest. Put those dumbbells down and out of your way. Coming up next, we're doing rainbow jacks. Hands going up overhead like a rainbow. One knee coming up on one side, one knee coming up on the other. We can really get this one moving and grooving because you know what? We're getting real low on my list here. This is a circuit today. We're gonna make it through it two times, but only two times. I love a two times through kind of circuit. That way you know that you can survive the exercises, but you don't have to do them too much. <laughs> when it beeps again, we'll get that 10 seconds of rest. While we pick up those dumbbells again, going back and forth, whoo, from cardio ah, to strength, my friends. You are welcome to have one or two for this one. We're doing sumo squats. Hands are gonna be right here about your waist. Feet are super, almost uncomfortably wide. Toes pointed out a little bit. And hips go back. Oh my gosh, and down we come into that sumo squat. Yes, this is the squat for your inner thighs. Ooh, not, not feeling great, but I thought about this while I was making the workout. My friends, for those of you who are complaining about the sumo squat right now, at least we're not doing drinky birds, right? down low and back up to standing. <laughs> Go ahead and put those dumbbells down. 10 seconds of rest. And here is our last cardio exercise. It is mountain walkers. Yes, they're tough. Hands stay down the entire time. Walk your feet out, walk your feet in. Thinking about which foot is the leader leg for that step out and step in. 
trying to alternate between them, you will find that you have a dominant leg that really wants to step out and step in every time. Trying really hard to get that little bit of work for your brain as well as your body. Asking your body to do something difficult and unusual who is part of this workout today. Also getting up and down from the ground, part of the workout today. Grab your dumbbells because here we go. Grab one dumbbell rather. Here we go with swinging knees to elbows. The dumbbell is right underneath your chin. Elbows are out forward in front of you. Bring your knee to your elbow. Bring your knee to your other elbow and then down. So squeezing across your body on the same side of your body and then putting that foot back down. Yes, it's more balance work. Did you think this workout was gonna get easier? <laughs> I know, me either. Great job balancing, great job pulling in your core, and great job surviving this circuit. My friends, put that dumbbell down. We only have to live through these exercises one more time. And you've already lived through them the first time. We're starting again with those walking stars or box step. So forward, forward, back, back. Pick an apple and put it in your pocket, my friend. <laughs> Excellent job. Now is a great time to check in. How are you doing? How are you feeling? This should feel effort. It should feel sweaty. It should also feel pretty moderate. Not like you're dying. Not like you can't breathe. Not like you can't go on. Not like you wouldn't be able to do this exact workout or something like it tomorrow. You are doing so good with it. Whew, moderating yourself is part of the workout. Here we go with those high elbow, go ahead and grab your dumbbells. High elbow openers. Core is pulled in tight. Hands are starting at your chest. Elbows are high. Open up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Close. Please feel free to grunt on this one. Oh my goodness. What a good job you're doing. Getting stronger. Oh my gosh, keeping those elbows at shoulder height, keeping that core pulled in super tight. I can't believe I started with the toughest exercise, right? But now we've lived through it. Put those dumbbells down and here we go with toy soldiers. Gonna have your both hands up overhead, reaching that opposite hand towards the opposite kicking foot. You know that 10 seconds really is just enough to help us moderate our heart rate for this one. Sometimes I go back and forth and I actually even debated that today, having no rest at all. But I know getting those dumbbells every single time, that's a bit of an effort. I know it's adding to the workout. So I wanted to make sure we had that little bit of time just to take a breath and get ready for the next thing. I think it's working out, whew, 10 seconds of rest. I think it's working out just right. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells. And here we go with squats. So feet just a little bit wider than hip width apart. Weights right here at your chest. Push your hips back, then push your hips down. Come down, down, down. How low can you go, my friend? This is round two. If you've got it in you, give yourself a bit of a challenge. See if you can get your thighs parallel with the floor. See if you can get your butt down near your ankles. How low can you go? Awesome, awesome job. Head up, chest is out. Whew, and that was our last of those squats. Go ahead and put your dumbbells off to the side here. Coming up next, we're doing those walking burpees. Help yourself to whatever surface works best for you. Hands down, walk your feet out, walk your feet in, and up we go. The effort is in everything. <laughs> there's, there's no real resting position here. Resting your hands on the ground or an elevated surface really challenges your heart and lungs to have your weight on your hands instead of your feet. Your hands aren't used to it, and that's where the effort comes in. And my friends, finding the exact right amount of effort, 10 seconds of rest, is really important at this age. Coming up next, we're gonna grab just one dumbbell. We're doing X marks the spot. You know, like I mentioned, here we go. We're chopping down and chopping down. Finding what works for you, what feels moderate for you. It's so different than it ever used to be. You know, when we were younger, we could push ourselves so hard. And yeah, it might take some time to recover, but your body was ready for that. It was built for that. Now, now that it's harder to recover and it takes more time and it feels different and more difficult, 
Your body has a harder time. That was our last chop. 10 seconds of rest where we get ready for cardio again. We're doing can-cans. Your body has a harder time losing weight when it can't recover. Here we go, a little knee and a kick. Knee and kick, not much of a little knee. It's a big knee, it's a big knee and a big kick, I know. And you can make it bigger with your hands if you'd like to. Finding something that feels moderate, I know it's counterintuitive, but it is absolutely, hands down, the way to lose weight at this age. If you have found yourself being fit but gaining weight because you've exercised your whole life. 10 seconds of rest while we grab those dumbbells. Getting ready for, oh, letter X's. Oh my gosh, I did the same, I grunted again. Oh, letter X's, <laughs> but we're getting them out of the way. Form the top of the letter X, whoo. And then the bottom of the letter X. Awesome job. Giving yourself a break and finding this moderate kind of work. You know, it's good for your brain as well as your body, my friends. It's good for you to do something loving and kind for your body. You know, it's impossible, well, okay, I shouldn't say it's impossible. It's very, very difficult to hate yourself thin. 10 seconds of rest while we get ready for leg twister jacks. But when you do something kind for your body, your body knows that. Here we go. Hands are doing jumping jacks. Legs are doing whatever they're going to do. <laughs> they're going in. They're going out. They're twisting here. They're twisting there. You're figuring it out. Maybe follow me. Maybe don't. Do what you got to do to get through this one, my friend. <laughs> when you do something loving and kind and moderate for your body, your body will repay you. You know, it's that time in our lives when we might as well be nice to ourselves, right? We owe it to ourselves. We deserve it. 10 seconds of rest. We deserve that too. Here we go with a curtsy lunge curls. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells with that little extra squat. And here we go. Elbows locked into your side, palms facing out. We curl while we curtsy. We curl while we curtsy. Very nice job. Getting as low as you can, whatever works for you. If you don't like curtsy lunges, my friend, feel free to do a curtsy kick instead. There is always a way to modify these exercises to make them work for you so that you're still getting the strength work, you're still getting the glute work, the balance work, the leg work, but not hurting yourself. 10 seconds of rest while we put those dumbbells down out of our way. And here we go. Yes, I'm reading. Here we go with inchworms. <laughs> Hands are going to walk us out to a plank position. Ah, and hips down and back up we go. My friends, you are always welcome to just full on sub out a different exercise if you don't like the exercise I'm doing. I get questions about this all the time and I want you to know that you cannot do this wrong. There is no real magic to the exercises I choose. I am making sure that we get a full body workout. Ah, 10 seconds of rest while we grab our dumbbells. I am making sure that we're doing upper body, lower body abs like we want to do. Coming up next is those high knee twists. But if there is something that aggravates your body, something that doesn't feel right. Hands are right here at your shoulders. Oh my goodness, trying really hard not to fall over here around you. Help yourself to whatever exercise comes to mind. If we're doing cardio, do another cardio exercise. If we're doing strength, pick some other strength exercise. Help yourself to help yourself, to not injure yourself. Making sure, oh my gosh, that you're breathing. 10 seconds of rest while we put those dumbbells down again. Here we go. I have to look. Here we go with windmill tap backs. You guys, today's whiteboard is really full. And I don't know why I keep doing this to myself where I write really small. <laughs> I think, you know what? You know what, this is apropos of our day. This is how I've always done things. And I can still read, my glasses still work. I, I'm still pretty good on that. But I need to find a better solution. I need to find something that is easier for me, kinder for me, rather than just doing things the way I've always done them because it's the way I've always done them. 10 seconds of rest while we grab our dumbbells and do those balanced press ups. Very appropriate for this workout today where we're finding something that works without being too much, without being a strain, without having to look like this. <laughs> 
while I'm trying to read the whiteboard. You're pressing up, starting at your shoulders, going up overhead while balancing on one foot at a time. This is slow moving work, slow strength. Oh my goodness, while your core is pulled in tight and you are thinking about excellent form. You're probably also thinking, hey, we're not too far from the end. You're right, <laughs> dumbbells down. Coming up next, we're doing rainbow jacks. We've only got a couple of exercises left and you have done a fantastic job. We're going up overhead like a rainbow, bringing up one knee on one side, one knee on the other side. This exercise always just gives me a little smile. There's something about it. In fact, I know exactly <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just totally had a random memory. Do you remember the song Daybreak by Barry Manilow? I have this very vivid memory of me and my brother and my sister and my cousins in my aunt's car singing Daybreak at the top of our lungs and doing that exact hand motion, 10 seconds of rest. Ah, that was, that was a good one. Let's go ahead and grab the dumbbells. And now, if you know that song, it'll be in your head. We're doing sumo squats. Next, weights right here at your center, feet almost uncomfortably wide, hips go back before they come down, head is up, chest is up, and inner thighs are screaming. Ah, very nice sumo squat. We don't often work the inner thighs, and boy, do they feel it when we do. What a good job you're doing. Don't lock your knees when you come up. Everything is soft but strong, just like you. 10 seconds of rest while we get those dumbbells out of the way. And here is our last cardio exercise. It's mountain walkers. For the second and final time, hands stay down on the ground. We walk our feet in, we walk our feet out. If you don't want your hands down on the ground, put them on a coffee table, put them on the side of your couch. Do something else. Oh my goodness. There are so many exercises to choose from. You can pick any single thing in the world that sounds good to you right now to get through these next couple of seconds of this last cardio exercise that we're doing for this workout. Oh my goodness. Ah, good timing. Here we go. 10 seconds of rest. We're going to grab one dumbbell. Whew. And we're going to do... I know, I'm breathing really heavy now. We're doing that swinging knees to elbows. Elbows pointed out, hands are right underneath your chin, going across your body, reaching your knee to your elbow, knee to your elbow, and down. Trying really hard not to swing your body very much, but keeping your abs and your obliques doing this work. Squeeze and crunch, squeeze and crunch. You guys, this is it. When it beeps again, we are done, but we're not finished. 10 seconds of rest while you grab your other dumbbell because I have one final thing for us and it is not gonna be easy. We are doing around the world tap and press. I'm gonna stand on my left leg and here it goes. We're going a forward tap with a forward raise, a sideways tap with a sideways raise, and a back tap, oh my gosh, with that triceps pullback. Front and side and squeeze it back. Oh my goodness. Front and side and squeeze it back. Balancing, getting stronger. 10 seconds of rest. We're going to switch sides. Yes, this is single sided. Yes, we're doing each side twice, just like the rest of the workout. You didn't think I was going to like just do one. I mean, sometimes I do. <laughs> but not today. Here we go. Oh my gosh. With the side and then the back tap. Okay. This is significantly more difficult for me to coordinate on this side. I might have started on this side had I known that my brain was going to fight me so much. Forward tap with a forward raise, side tap with a side raise, back tap with a triceps kick back. Oh man, great job. 10 seconds of rest. We're going to do that one more time on each side and then, and then we would be completely finished. You know, the finisher is meant to finish us off and this is definitely finishing off both my body and my brain. Forward tap, side tap, back squeeze, work on the backs of your arms. Oh my gosh. Tops of your shoulders for both of these first two parts and then that back part of your arm on the last part. Oh my gosh, we are getting it done today. This 
This has been a very thorough Thursday, and that is always the point, my friends. I like you to be able to, 10 seconds of rest, I like you to be able to get in, get it done, get super sweaty, and then get on with your day. No need for more, unless, unless randomly you have some desire to, for example, do some more stretching. Oh my gosh, I'm always, always willing to have you stretch more. If you need to do, honestly, after today, I think something else that you might enjoy is like a little bit of a walk or something just to kind of shake it all out after the strength work, honestly. Here's our last couple of reps. The next time it beeps is the last time it's going to beep. I will have stretching for us because it is thorough, but ah, the timer goes off. <sighs> Maybe. There it is, the timer goes off. The dumbbells get put away, completely away. I love that stand, it's so convenient. I never have to think about where my dumbbells are. And then, ah, let's do some arm circles with just a little bit of side tapping here. Changing directions with each circle, forward and then backward. Ah, doesn't that feel nice? Oh my goodness, having nothing in your hands, <laughs> doing that big arm circle. You know, I do the same exercises to cool down as we do to warm up because it's a great mental signal to your body. It's Pavlovian. It helps us know that this is it. We're all done. It's totally okay for your muscles to get back into their nice elongated shape without being squeezed and tensed anymore. You have done such a good job. As I mentioned, I'm gonna have here on screen. I will have a little bit of a longer stretch, a cool down for you. It is a thorough Thursday, but I do like to make sure that for those of my bees who are on a time crunch that you can get in and get out and get done. But if you would like a little bit more stretching, I do have one of those for you. Go ahead and do some arm crossers with a big squeeze and then a big chest opener on the other side. Great, great job. And on the other side of the screen, I will have a walk for you. Something, I don't know, something, some kind of a walk. <laughs> I don't actually have one in mind, but I know that I have lots of walking workouts. It's really nice sometimes to just kinda, just kinda shake out your legs after we've done this. It's almost like a walking cool down, truly. If you don't love to stretch, and I, I mean, I stretch, but I don't love to stretch. I would much rather do a walking cool down personally. That's why I offered it up to you. <laughs> down in the bottom corner, there's the letter P. That's an invitation to go over to Patreon, my friends. When you make a monthly pledge, it helps me make free workouts for all of us. And thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. On the other side, that's a picture of me. That is a subscribe button. Make sure that you click that and click the bell notification so that YouTube will let you know every time I have a new workout. Thank you so much for working out with me. Click the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.